Hey everybody, welcome back to Lego Marvel 2 with the Avengers Infinity War DLC Character Showcase. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and also hit that notification button to be notified when more awesomeness happens. And yeah, I checked back for Marvel City so my Lego, I'm um, like, you know, they got it. The Incredibles PS2 game, let's play I'm doing and this and other stuff for mature people um, and all that so yeah but anyway it's a uh, focus on this game right now in the cancer so we're starting off with team boot and you know Thanos there sitting in his chair like he's bored you do think this is a boy that I'll tell you boots got attitude because he's a teenager so yeah So uh, basically, you know, Groot's probably going to have the same powers, except he's a teenager in this, um, but, you know. What? Wait, he can do what Star-Lord can do? Oh my goodness. That is cool. I guess he's spending too much time with Star Lord. Alright. But anyway, you know, let's uh, get into a riddle competition with the Sphinx. Check out his powers. Win, especially if it's a big stone statue. So, group. Because Avengers of Infinity War. So he has toxic cube protection. Like uh, so, yep. Doubling. Obviously, because he's got the roots. Smash rules. Double handle, single rope pull, that's, oh he is, he is, he is selfie mode, well yeah, sure he's definitely a teenager, a <laughs> Don't they? and obviously he has the music power which we saw, but it's not actually appearing here, I guess that's just a thing, like, it's not actually shown here, but I have to see this, uh, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, this is, this is funny. You know what? I'm turning off the subtitles so that we don't need them. Subtitles off. Thank you. Xenos, go sit on your thing. So we're gonna. I want to take a selfie of him sitting. I do not know it. Thanos. That's it. There we go. See, that works. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's Team Groot. Um, we'll check out the role, but it's probably just going to be Infinity War story. The technology in Kang surveillance drones See, is no impressive, appears, but I don't appreciate that's, being uh, watched. That's basically his origin from the movie. To destroy. And all that. So, you know, you guys read it. If you've seen the movie, you basically know his origin for this, so we're not going to... I'm not going to bother talking it. Now we're going to move on to this guy. <laughs> Who is uh, Cole Gollum? I don't know. But he's a big character. So, he also has fire protection, toxic nutrition, toxic gas, smash walls, hyper jump, super strength, targeting, and cat vines. That's his power. He's Cullen Obsidian. I can't pronounce it. I'm butchering. I know. All right. So, Kalan Obsidian is a is the powerhouse of Thanos' army due to his massive size and strength. His true power lies within his super dense and unbreakable skin. So you mean like Luke Cage? And he first appears for his New Avengers Volume Three, 2013, as Ka the Cole Obsidian. Obs I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Now we have, and then we'll show Thanos. So Thanos, he has, you know, he's a Vintagon, energy out his laser powers, like Iron Man's laser. That's his targeting. He can do an infinity slam. At least that's what I'm calling it, because basically all the stones go around. Oh, there's his fly. And then he just slams them. So that's. Well, I'm calling it. Infinity Slam! Any trace of Jotunheim in 
And he can also fly by sitting on his flying chair and just sitting there while the chair. Think of like a, you know, a wheelchair. He, he needs it because he, you know, he's hard. He doesn't walk as good. He's getting old. If you have your camera with you, dear, I have another. Yeah, Groot has a camera, but no. Let's go beat some. Oh yeah, you can also teleport. Like uh, lock tool. Don't mess with Thanos. Darkness. Fancy slam. Alright, so yeah, let's uh, go see things. So, Thanos, no, mm, no alias. Uh, his power is toxic gas, flight. Uh, he can repair stuff, so he's on uh, smash walls, toxic kill protection, fire, electricity. Because he's Infinity Stone, he can do pretty much everything except things that small characters can do. So he can't like pull handles. Oof, so but, yeah. hot today. Time to place in, te quick teleport. Wall climbing. Wall climbing. I mean, I know Chase is the wall climb, but. Really, why would Thanos want to walk on? He can teleport while wall climbing, that's cool. Alright, let's uh, check out his stuff. So that's his uh, powers, and so, okay. So. Thanos, the Mad Titan, is perhaps one of the most dangerous beings to have ever existed. Born on Titan Eternal with the Devon Devin gene, and he became obsessed with the entire entirety death of and wishing. Oh, I, oh entirety of death. That's right. Yeah, he is the obsession. He is obsession with death. You know, the person who's in love with Deadpool. But he's obsessed with her, but she's obsessed with Deadpool. Basically that. Um, wishing to impress her, he wiped out millions of people, including his own family. Few can equalize his intelligence, strength, and lust for power, except for Darkseid. Uh, able to survive uh, planet-destroying attacks without harm, along with his vast array of powers and abilities. Imbued by death herself, he is nigh unstoppable, except for, you know, Darkseid. He is ruler of the Infinity Gauntlet and the heart of the universe. Something must have gone the down the in universe. the Cave of Dragons. That disembodied voice isn't yelling at me when I walk past anymore. Okay, good. And his first film was Iron Man 55, 1970. Right. Yeah, no, Darkseid will totally beat you. Next we have Corvus Glaive, who is one of the Black Order, along with this guy right here, along with that guy right there. And he looks like he has some sort of energy star, I don't know. Just a lot of power on that. He can throw his thing. So, Corvus Glaive. Uh, fire protection, toxic. Uh, yep. Acrobatics, electricity, targeting, and in cat blinds. Yeah, I thought he had electricity. Okay, so. Uh, Glaives is the right hand general of Thanos. Master. Of you strategy and tactician, supply store? he wields. Lady, I'm talking here. Some sort of trouble. Quiet. Yesterday she was purple. Uh, you learned to turn it out. Uh, wielding a supernatural iron blade uh, that grants him immortality while it is intact. Okay. And his first appearance was Free Comic Book Day, Ooh, volume 2013 and 20. So 2013. So he came from, he wasn't really popular because he was in a free comic. 
I'm just kidding. Next we have here. Elbon Moor. El Born Moor? Oh, I can't, I can't feel it. my face. I'm butchering the names. I apologize. Okay, so he has Portal, Mind Control, Beam Deflect, Acrobatic, Stealth, and Technology. Um, more. Uh, well, not there's some Ekvara, kind of exhibition happening up in that ruined building. Dangerous Man, of I all Xenos' army due to his stuff. mental powers. As master of manipulation, he is a psychology mastermind. As even the strongest minds have fallen prey to his scheming and avoids direct conflict, preferring to influence others to do his daily work for him. So he's got Master Man and his pals. Uh, New Avengers 2013. So all these characters seem to come in 2013. We already done him. Let's show him off first. Four. Four so as you can see, he doesn't really have much. His shield powers. He's got a shield and he can go invisible. No, go invisible. There we go. So he's invisible now. I may be a fighter, but I'm gonna beat up this guy. Now the master scared. says I won't make any progress in my training until I stop wearing overcoats and start wearing gis. But it's so cold here. You'd think someone would spring for central heating. I'll stop complaining. Man, it's so cold. This is uh, Promix, Promix? Knight looks like a female. Electricity power by the sound of it. That's probably the same power as her. And the other guy. So. Yep, I looks like the same powers. Apparently, there's some kind of exhibition happening up in that ruined building. Man, I do not get that fancy art stuff. It's okay. Uh, so we got so Proxima Midnight. Uh, so fire protection, goo goo, acrobatics, electricity, hyper jump, and targeting. So pretty much same as the other guy. And so the greatest warrior in Thanos' army, she uses a spear forged for her by Thanos from the sun, which splits into beams that never miss. This combined with her great physical power and fighting ability makes her incredibly oh, dangerous. Gears, a waste of money, uh, huh? New Avengers well, 2013. Who's laughing now, Mom? All right, let's see what's happening. Next up is Super Giant, which I believe this was in the Guardians Galaxy movie or something, or cameo. I'm not exactly sure. Let's just see what looks of it. Can't fly. Alright, so super giant. Alright, so you know, all that acrobatic. That's just the yep, mind control, telekinesis. And it's not like any vent travel. Alright, so found in an orphanage for the mentally unstable by Thanos, super giant impressed Thanos with her with both her physical abilities and her dark tendencies. Okay, that sounds creepy. And he made her a member of his army. A physical fighter no <laughs> really She can feed on there. the intelligence and control the minds of her victims. First uh, one was Infinity 1, 2017. And then we also have the Hulkbuster uh, Mark II. This is from the new movie. It's not that I have the Hulkbuster from the Avengers game. This one basically looks taller. 
I'm just gonna head to the next thing and uh, help. No, wait, no, no, go back. Go back. Hulk ready to smash. Hi, my guys, I'm a speed run. Okay, but I need it back later. Yeah. Rational thinking to of the rest. We're not gonna get attacked again, are we? Bust them out too. So, you know. He doesn't look as slashed over. The other one looked more slashed over. Um, the other one, yeah. So, I uh, basically, this see its abilities. Hulkbuster Mark II! Iron Man Armor Model 13. So, you know, flight, toxic goo protection, silver, smash walls, electricity, you hyper jump. So basically, it's, you know, so Tony created the whole. Well, we know this. And its first appearance was Iron Man 300, 1994. Hmm, the year I was born. So Tony created a Hulk Buster swiftly to countermeasure against the Hulk if he should ever be in a save. Vastly larger than his regular Iron Man suit, it's packed with more power, armor, and strength, allowing him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hulk long enough to subdue him. It has come in handy against other super-sized foes, and a little extra firepower was needed. When a little extra firepower was needed. Alright, so uh, yeah. Huh? Oh. Um, that's uh, all the characters in, uh, you know, the Avengers Infinity War DLC. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in the comments and in the comments below, you know, let me know, you know, what you thought of the movie. Um, if you've seen it. And if, you have, and if you have, also don't spoil it, just, you know, tell me if you enjoyed it or not. And yeah, I'm gonna end the episode with Coop dancing. Basically, exactly like, um, Star-Lord. It's been, it's been, <laughs> I think it's been too much time with Star-Lord. Yeah. Alright, see ya! <laughs>